So the so um, so self acclaimed schools can boast of their infrastructure, but we admit we do not have much. But when it comes to academics, Allah. That, that's the <laughs> that's the ulterior motive of every student coming to school. We shall persevere in our pursuit contingencies as is your most I am currently at Iziam and I'm going to drive to the school. But this is the school that has been so like come to come to Iziam, come to Iziam, come to Iziam, Iziam Senior High Technical School. Now I'm getting in there. I don't know what they have to. So so this is the first impression. Why? What is the, what's happening? Why? What are they holding? Look. <laughs> hey, look. What? <laughs> Guys, look at what is happening. Hey! <laughs> I don't know, I just drove in here at Asia Massacre Technical High School and then something very interesting happened. Um, somebody came to pop a champagne to like a whistleblower telling them that we are here. And then there is a dance. There is a major dancing happening here, like an actual dancing. And I'm pretty sure it is it is because of they are using it to welcome. Like I have never had this kind of reception in any school before. Look. So this is this is how how Indiana Septic is welcoming me to the school. I don't know whether I'm broken hearted or I am over excited or overjoyed or it's it's so amazing. And so many people are hanging around here watching everything that is happening this is this is this is so amazing i'm just having my camera gosh miss how are you i'm good how are you nice to meet you wait is everything happening supposed to be for me yeah. is it for me yeah ha! how did you see that interesting right just to welcome you <laughs> amazing see I am so. I like to see your face. They also want to see your face. My name is Esther Doak. Esther. Esther Doak. Esther Doak. The respectable lady of this noble institution. You yeah. are the head girl of the school. That is why. I I think you just right. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm called the respectable lady. So you, they refer to you as respectable lady over because here. Of course, I'm the head girl. Amazing. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet sis. you. And, and you are welcome to this school. Thank you. I'm sure you will like all that we have for you. I, 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 I really, because even what I have seen is too much for me. It's and uh, whenever you're working, you have your security. Yeah, this is our escort. With. Yeah. Amazing. Gosh, you know something. We've been expecting you for a long time. We heard a whole lot about High School South Africa. We just couldn't wait to see you. Amazing. Yeah. Don't worry. We have a whole lot to show you. Amazing. So please, Amazing. you come with me. As yeah, I am. I am so overwhelmed. I am speechless. I am just. <laughs> so this young lady here is a member of our school cultural team. Yeah. So she's not somebody you went to hire from outside no, to come and do the she's dance. a member of our school cultural group. Yeah. I have a whole lot for you. And Amazing. even my escort, they are members of my school cadets. Amazing. And the school cadets, they are ready to welcome you with a few drinks. No, your own is serious though. Yeah. I have never seen anything like this before. Yeah. Now, guys, look, I am looking around. She's still dancing. The cultural troops are over here. Now there's a cadet cadet team over here. Yeah. Over there two people are in green. Hey, it's Yama. We've been preparing for days. We just couldn't wait to see you. Amazing. Yeah, you'll be impressed at the end. Amazing. Yeah. Guys, learn from Aziama. We'll see. Learn from learn from Aziama. Aziama is like Asia, you are you are literally the best school I have visited. Thank you for see. the compliment. See, this is the best school I have ever visited. And I'm sure by the time we are done, you will be short of 
where to describe it. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, there's so much life in this school. Awesome. The drums are off. Okay. I'm Don't scared. Speak. Don't speak. <laughs> Guys, I'm so confused. All the plans and my strategies and questions. I came I came in here with they, they disappeared. <laughs> Gosh. These people they would be coming forward. That's the commander. Yeah. So he would ask to he would ask for permission from you okay. before they will carry on. Are they all students? Yeah. They are students of Tech. Good morning, SB. Good morning. Is your machine here for us, cadet from us? 22 men on parade, two of seven with the CSM. You couldn't hire cadet commander to show for your reporting. SB, please, may I have your permission to do the rest of the address? Permission granted. Carry on. Yes, SB. This is the day that I have become a camera guy myself. What? Stand out! Rafa was set with you, Sasha Hot. Working on the house system. Up! See, these people are actually the future military of Ghana. Yeah. I, I, I cannot. The future military. It's. I have to agree with you on this. The CMS Senior Technical School have the best cadets ever. Yeah. I'm and so amazed though. The Air Force. Yeah. So this is the Air Force Cadet. Corps. Yeah. Even the Chief March last week, they, they became the second in the military among ceremony. all the schools in Izima Zone. They emerged second. Amazing. Yeah. Guys, so much is happening here right now. So much is happening here right now. From yesterday. You just take a look. They are about to show you Please, you take a look at those letters on the ground and please I just can look. I S T S. Yeah. Is my secondary technical school? Wow. <laughs> Guys, yeah, it's so yeah, amazing. Yeah, right. Just right now, just yeah, when good. they went down, that's what they formed. Yeah. Amazing. The initials of the school. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Wow. I, I thought wow. you couldn't wow. identify Guys, look. it. <laughs> this is so this is so insane. <laughs> you have yeah. a great school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, can I say something? Yeah, yeah. So now we're officially inside Ziama Secondary Technical School. Look, they've put their initials down here with their guns. They have their cadet guns, their military guns. Look. Is there my secondary technical school? So now they have officially uh, let me know and understand that I am in Is there my secondary technical school? I am actually in their school right now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so let's go. I have a whole lot for you. Plans okay. are aborted. Guys, please wait. Wait.
What a beautiful display. This is so amazing. permission to my demo for it. Permission granted. Thank you, Yasmin. Amazing, right? Yeah, I am so amazing. Uh, Look, like, honestly, my plans, like, all the ideas like the questions whatever i came in here with they've been buried you have literally buried everything i'm so amazed yeah i'm so amazed and there are a lot more for you i i can't wait and this... they also if i they can't wait I, you, you're amazed right you're amazed right your color school you see your color school <laughs> now you see your school you see your life <laughs> yeah it's always the best but people don't actually know amazing. yeah i have a lot more for you so the whole of the school cultural troupe, they will be performing here. Amazing. Yeah. They are coming to perform the Kundum dance because we are the Enzima land. And the Enzima people, they celebrate the Kundum. So they will perform their cultural dance for you to see. Awesome. Yeah. I have heard so much about the Kundum dance, but I have never witnessed one in my life. You will witness some today. I don't know. Today. today be today. Yeah. Miss. So these beautiful ladies and gentlemen here, they are the school choir. Amazing. Yeah. And their voice is so melodious that if they sing. I can see I can see it already. Yeah, yeah. I can 
So they will sing the school anthem for you. The school anthem. You see, I need the school High anthem. Technical school has the best school anthem ever. I'm here to yeah. hear that. I've not heard a whole lot of anthems, yeah. but I know my school anthem is great. Is like my school anthem is great. Yeah. So if you're telling me that yours is the best in the in, in this whole country, then I just can't wait. We the great spirits, we be the motto. Courage, perseverance, victory. Our mission shall be accomplished. We we'll take a rage in a stormy weather. To be the victors and come with glorious reward, we shall be courageous in our quest for success. We shall persevere in our foreseen contingencies. As is your mindset, we trust in the Lord on our side. He's on our side, we have assurance of victory. Our Savior must accept that. We trust in the Lord on our side. He's on our side, we have assurance of victory. I have never seen um, different shades of school uniforms being paraded in, 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 in such a manner. Be Oh, okay, you can see it. Miss, what is happening here? Yeah, so these people here, they are here to portray our dressing codes to you. Yeah. The various shades of dress you have over here. In this school, yeah. Amazing. And I'm sure we have the best school uniforms, yeah. So, let's start from these people here. So, ASEAN Senior Technical School, we have our traditional colors. Your traditional colors. And our traditional colors, Ashanti green and white. What green? Ashanti green. Ashanti green. Yeah, and white. Hey, so I've never heard that before. This beautiful lady and gentleman here are in the Ashanti green. Awesome. That's the same thing you are in. Yeah, yeah. Ashanti green. Because it's our traditional color. Amazing. So, so this is official school uniform. Yeah. So we put this on on Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah. So due to modernity we've added additional uniform. So this one is Thursdays and Fridays. Thursdays and Fridays. Yeah, they put awesome. this on, on Friday, Thursdays, Fridays. With the tie on, you can see the tie. We have our school motto there. We have our crest there. Yeah, so uh, if they are walking out there, anyone who sees them out in the street, they can easily identify, identify them. them that. These are the products of Azimah Senior Technical awesome. School. Awesome. And we also have the school outing. The school outing. The school outing. Whenever you take an exit to go to town to buy something, you see Azimah Senior Technical School, the borders here, we don't roam about anyhow. We are hardly seen in the town. So before a student leaves this campus, you must seek proper permission. That you write an exit for the senior house master or house mistress to sign it for you before you go. So, before you go out, you must be in this outing. So if you don't be in this, you can't step you out? You can't step out of the four corners of this school. What is if it's an emergency? There's no way. For real? You have to ask for proper permission and you must be in the prescribed attack before you're allowed to go out. Amazing. Yeah, so this is the school outing. And we also put it on when we are going home on vacations, yeah. So on vacation you don't put on your uniform, no, you put on the we put on the school out. Yeah. This beautiful lady here and gentleman here, they are in check. Check. The That's regular the check. Of the school. We put this on after school. Amazing. During preps, we put this on. To the dining hall, we put this on. Yeah, so this one is just on campus. And all the dresses. They put it on with east and west. Mm. We have the prescribed standards for all the dresses. So this one, they put it on with the east and west. The Monday wear, the Friday wear, they put it on with the east and west. The shoe, the slipper, the footwear over there is called east and east west. East and west, yeah. Is it a name you people gave it? 
or that's the name we it, it is that's known the out there. Name. Or you For people, that, you are Zima student, you call it. Senior high technical you call it East and West. East and West, yeah. So we are now on these people. So this young lady and gentleman here are in the school traditional clothes. Mm. We put this on occasionally. Once every month. That's the first Sunday of every new month. We put this on. Yeah. For church service. Mm. Yeah. And the, we put it on, on with the stepper. That one we don't wear it with east and west. We put that it one on is stepper. with stepper. In my school, we, we, we have our own, but it is not like this. I don't know the name of this fabric, but this fabric definitely has a name. Our own, it's called Awenepa. I don't know if they change it so nice, but this one too is very beautiful. Yeah, so. So traditional wear every first Sunday of the month, this is we what. We put it on. Awesome. And as you can see, our school crest is on it. Awesome. And the school crest, we have a book. The on crest, the do you have the statue of the crest over here? No, no, please. You don't have it? Yeah. You don't have it here? Yeah. We you don't, don't have, have it. You don't have the. Board. But you don't have the statue, like a ah, statue, okay, okay, yeah, okay. like a monument, a sculpture yeah. of it. You don't have it. Oh, you can see at the entrance. Yes, it's there. The yeah. Okay. Okay. So these people are in the Ashanti white. This, this one the, too is Ashanti white. White and this is called Ashanti, Ashanti, Ashanti white. white. This yeah. is Ashanti green and this is Ashanti, Ashanti white. white. Yeah. So this one we put it on on Sundays. Sundays every so Sunday. Sundays we wear it for church service. That's the regular church service program. But the school cloth once in a month. Awesome. But this one for regular church service program. And we also put it on for preps. That's only for Sundays. Yeah. So guys, these are the these are the the shades of uh, uniforms we have here at Iziama Secondary Technical School. Do you do you like it? Let me know. Put it in the comment box. Is it the best you've seen in the country? Let me know in the comment box. All the shades of clothes you've seen from other schools. Is this the best? Like this, this, and then the 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 striped green over there. This 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 uniform looks like that of Fiji Senior High School. I think they have something similar. But I don't know whether it is Ashanti green or um, the Fanti green or the Swahili green. I don't know. But she said it's called Ashanti green. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's move ahead. I have a, a lot more for you. Please, yeah. let's keep going. What is the story behind your school? Ezema Senior Technical School. We can describe it as a historical site on its own because the school is really old. Yeah. So Ezema Senior Technical School was established in the year 1921. 1921? Yeah. Hey. That was during the British colonial era. Miss, I'm feeling the sun over here. Can we walk to where there's benches? Yeah, yeah. So the school was established by then as a government boys' school. A government? Boys' school. Boys' school. Yeah, that was, it was a boys' school. Boys' school. Yeah, so we may have some of the old buildings still here. Over 100 years. That's over 100 years now. Some of the buildings? Yeah, still here. So the school was established by then as a government. Are you sure? School. Can you show me one? Yeah, so this is one of them. This, build, this building is over 100 years. is over 100 years, yeah. Even those buildings next to it, from, from this side to that side. They are all over 100 years. Over 100 years, yeah. And they are still strong. Because. Those Wait, days. Oh. this building I'm looking at here is over it's 100, over 100 years. years. Yeah, yeah, and it's still in use. So these are the buildings they started the school with. Yeah, they started with those ones. So it was established as a government boys' school. So it was later changed to an experimental junior secondary school. That was from 1987 to 1990. So in 1990, it was then upgraded into a secondary school. So in 1991, the school was absorbed as a government-assisted co-educational day institution. Mm. So the school operated the day and hostel system until September 2013, when it was given the boarding status. So this school began to operate as the boarding and day school and from September 2013. Yeah. September 2013. 2013. Till, that, till now. 
It's yeah. when September 2013 is when I like the breeze. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it's not easy over here. Yeah, Chale. it's never it's nice. So. Nice <laughs> Amazing. We have a whole, even these trees that you can see. These they are also over 100 years. Over 100 years. Yeah. These trees, we came to meet them here, but. Do you know the name of the tree? This one? Me, I don't. Mm, this tree. They look magnificent, but you, for me, you, I don't relax, know. Relax, relax. You tell me. Eh? I have a lot for you. You wait. Amazing. All this you, you hear. So, so, 2013, September, your school officially became. Yeah, let's sit on this leisure bench. Your, yeah. Uh, you also call this one leisure bench. Leisure bench, yeah, that's where we have. We your sit during break time, our leisure time, feel like reading story. But this is where we sit. Yeah. We call it a leisure bench. How many students did your school begin with? Mm, they started with over 80 students. 80? Yeah, that boys. was the time it was started as the boys' school. Over 80 students. But the time it changed to, it was changed into a secondary school. They had about 300 students. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So. The school currently is now operating the day in, in the hostel. And do you know the current population of the school? Yeah, the current currently our school is about 700. 700 students. 700 students. Yeah. With, with how many teachers? With about 52 teachers. With about 52, 52 teach teachers. teachers. Yeah. And how many teachers started the school? The school started with five teachers. Five. Yeah. And 70 and over 80 students. Yeah. So when the school started, it started as what? What subject was the school teaching? Okay, so the school started as a, a boys' school, a government school. That time it was it wasn't a secondary school. I hope you are aware. It wasn't a secondary school. So it started. Uh, it wasn't a secondary a second, school. It was just a school. Yeah, it was like just a basic a school. school. A, a junior secondary school. That was later on that it was changed. But when it started as a government boys' school, mm. it was just a basic school. Then from basic school to a junior secondary school, from there to a secondary school. Oh, and okay. So the school started as a secondary school. Amazing. Then up to now. So and I think. And now? Now we operate, as the name goes, ASEAN Senior Technical School. We offer both technical programs and secondary programs. So with the secondary programs, we have business, general agri, general science, home economics, yeah, and general arts. And when we come to the, the technical programs, the technical programs, we have woodwork, we have auto mechanics, we have building and construction, we have technical drawing and we have applied electricity. Amazing. Yeah. So and those are the technical. And all of it, there is a space here where people do yeah, go though, for classes and all that. Though we lack the infrastructure, but we still manage to do to all. Do something yeah. around it. Amazing. 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 Sometimes we use our dining hall just to make sure the student will pass at the end of everything. Yeah. So, Amazing. gosh. Respectable lady Esther. Do you know I have a class? You have a class? Like now, with, in the next five minutes. So we are going to class. postpone the conversation? I no, mean, no, 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 no. We will not postpone What's the way forward? I have a PRO. You, you have a PRO? Yeah. The head prefect <laughs> of ASEAN Senior Technical School has a PRO. Amazing. That's the public relations officer. So she will come in to talk on her behalf, but immediately I'm done with the classes. I will come back. Amazing. Yeah. Guys, People, the chop post, oh. Yeah. Where did we pass? <laughs> Gosh. Miss. This is my PRO, Lady Victoria Bevabelli. Amazing. Yeah. She Lady Victoria Bevabelli. Bevabelli. Belli. Yeah. Amazing name. So I think she will take over awesome. as I go to my classroom. But you classes. will be back, right? Yeah, I will come back. Promise. I promise. They want to see you again. Promise. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> Le and I. Lady Vicky. So now, look, I am with Lady Vicky, but something interesting is happening now. I was thinking that because the head girl is going to for class, um, the, the girls will just go with her. I mean, they, they've, they've actually stood by Lady Vicky over here. They are keeping charge of her so that 
no weapon. Amazing. Miss, you are blessed. Yeah, very, very well. <laughs> they are so curious and they would like to see your face. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Head girl told me that there is so much you will show me about the school. Yeah. And they can't wait. Where do we start from? Okay, so I would like to show you our sick bay. That's our infirmary. I, 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 I'm not a, I don't fall sick, but <laughs> take me there. Okay, so knock in. Okay. Guys, we are going inside the sick bay. Go on, she can come in. Madam, Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, I'm here with me, boys, and we want to know more about the sick bay. So I want to show him the rooms we have okay. here. Amazing. Guys, come inside. Come and so see. So please, that's our school nurse. Amazing. Yes, please. So she takes care of us in case we are ill and all that. No, but she also gives transfer in case the ailment becomes serious. Yeah. So this is a female ward awesome. for the school. So in case anyone is having a headache, a severe one, you come, she gives you some first aid, then you sleep here and rest. Amazing. Yeah, it's a close in time. It's a very standard one. It's so not huge. But yeah. see, there's one bed over here, but they, they have a land over here. They have a lot of land. So what it means is that this thing could, can be expanded. So now there is work for you that alumni have to do. You just have to get in touch with the school and come and expand the sick bay and also donate beds. And that would be so awesome. Amazing. But Very so far well. so good. Nobody is ill okay, over so here. Okay, so we have so. some posters here on how to um, to keep your yourself tidy. So there's the hygiene process of washing your hands. Mm. So as you see in the hospital, we also have something to Amazing. tell the students on how to wash your hands to prevent any diseases. Okay, so there's a... I think it's cool because not all the schools have these precautionary yeah. measures spelled out over there. But over here they have it. So when you're just here lying down here and you roll your eyes around here, you learn a thing or two. And also, I can't forget, so there's a precautive measure for malaria. Malaria. Yeah, how to prevent yourself from getting malaria. Okay, That's so it. we also have that here. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. So we have Veronica buckets here. So have a Veronica you bucket. Wash your hand. And all that. So let's help fight COVID 19. That's what is on it. Donated by the Meridian Logistic and Engineer. Okay. And it's very important. We have to keep sanitizing and washing okay. our hands. Just so the mill ward. The beds are not enough, but that's what. Oh, so we there's have another to. one over here. Yes, please. That's oh. the mill ward. Right. We can't just get to the female ward without forgetting about the mill yeah. here. So there's well, actually what I thought is that this is the female ward. Like over here is where you get the like male. Oh no, we also yeah. have a So it's like a spare bed over yeah, here. Yeah, spare bed in case a spare bed the rooms are full, you sleep. Amazing. Just so guys, that's actually the male ward yes, we have over here at Eziama Secondary Technical School. So madam, thank you. I like the environment here. Uh, it's yes, so please. refreshing. Yeah. You could see white stones around. I've seen a lot over here. Yeah, we don't really, we don't have a good um, road network, so we use this as to beautify the whole place. And that's creative, yes. actually. And it's kind of fencing for the school. Awesome. Yes, please. It's so, so creative. Yeah. Some people have the same environment like you have, but for them, they've just left it ajar like that. Yeah. But at least you've been able to come up with something creative to spell out to, in order to have like smooth navigation and all that. Yeah, just, just, that's just because our school administration have managerial skills. We have lots of talents and they're endowed to know what to use our assets for in that's, the school. That's also. Awesome. Okay, so I would like to show you the mission and vision of the school. The, please show me, where is it? Yes, yeah, please. Let's, let's go this way. Can't come to a school without knowing the vision and mission. All institutions school. all over the world are governed by Mission. missions and visions. Yes. So if you're running an institution and you don't have one, then it's not an I wouldn't advise anybody to be part of that institution. Very but over well. here, it's not like that. Yeah. They have a mission and they have a vision. Yes, please. Let's go and take a look at it. So it's just right here. It's just right here. So it has been written on this. Guys, it's on this block. So bold. Is there my senior high technical question? The vision of the school is academic excellence, discipline, total development, and spiritual well-being of the learner. So it all centers on our spiritual well-being and our academic excellence. Awesome. So when you come down to the mission, the school is committed to ensuring learning process that will assist students to achieve their greatest potential in an enabling environment, not restricted by cultural 
cultural, traditional, and religious beliefs, and to bring on board all stakeholders to contribute towards academic excellence. That you see, <laughs> the last part centers on our alumni, the, the major stakeholders of the school. So, as they go in life, they go higher in life, we shouldn't forget about this. Yeah, so, we should bring that support towards this. That, is, that's even the more reason why I'm here. I'm here because of the alumni. Yeah, very you see? well. So, I'm here. Now, they've, it's so interesting. They've, they've written this thing here bold, not, yeah, not on a certain plaque. Uh, confined at the head mistress's office. Yeah. It's on this wall, Very so that anybody lovely. passing around will know that this is what we are up to, and then everybody can have that thought in mind and then work towards that. Yeah. So it's so huge over here. And for me, I like the fact that they've included um, uh, beliefs and to bring on board, and to bring on, that's the key word, that's the reason I'm here, to bring on board all stakeholders, which is you, the alumni, you are the major stakeholders of the school. So um, so much is happening here. Get in touch. Just when I got here, something is happening here. You have to get in touch with the school administration and see what okay, you can so do over here. On the other end of the structure, there's something here. Yeah, we have the core values of the school. The core value. Yes. So it's also written down boldly to alert the students on certain characteristics or attitude they are to they are they are to exhibit in school. So as soon as an individual comes here as a student of a Zeman Secondary Technical School, you just know what to do. Yes, you just know what to do. Because if you are to filter any of this, you're going to be punished in a way or one, one way or the other. Punishment that's so it works. Mean. This yeah, thing over works. here. So everyone has inculcated all these core values as a student. Don't think because they put them on the walls, like, oh, da, 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 da. you are no, joking. No. <laughs> yeah, you are joking. That, that's not the reason You will go home now, amazing. <laughs> so over, like the core values, let me spell it out to you. Hard work is here, altruism is here, humility, tolerance. They tolerate each other a lot. And uh, tolerance is good. I like the tolerance because right now the world, the world, how the world is going, people are becoming so intolerant. Yes. Is it intolerant or yes. intolerance? In intolerance. Intolerant. Yes, please. People are becoming. In you see, grammar <laughs> police, they're everywhere. <laughs> grammar police, they're everywhere. Intolerant. People just don't have patience for people. Small thing, they put their gun, pop, pop, you're dead and gone. Okay, but like, we don't do that till it's That's why they put it over here. That they teach people how to tolerate each other. Yeah. If you don't like this, what do you want? For me, <laughs> I, am, I will choose to show up here because of that word. Tolerance. tolerance. To Very tolerate. Important. Charlie, tolerance is dying, you know. Empathy is, is death. It's dying, like it's dying, actually. But over here, they will push it in you. They will just literally open you your inside and push it there you see integrity dignity courage perseverance victory that's victory. the end goal victory, victory. everything and is happening you know, around you know one thing. victory is one core value in our motto our motto is courage perseverance and victory so in this school whoever you are as soon as you get into a Zeman secondary technical school, you're going to Victoria someday. Amazing. So that's why we put it in the minds of the students. So they become focused, they persevere and their courage as well. Amazing. Victory is everywhere over here. Awesome. So and I would like to showcase our assembly hall. This is your assembly hall. Yes, please. This is our assembly I was hall. thinking that you wouldn't have an assembly hall when I got over here because um, I, I thought, I just thought, I don't know why I thought, but I thought you wouldn't have one. I think it's because of our surroundings. We don't have much infrastructure. But you don't, you know, you actually do have. Just, like the environment is small. You can but you actually screen. have a lot over here. But assembly hall is something I didn't think you have or, over here. Yes, yeah, so. You have, have it. Yes. So these, you would, you would wonder what are these doing here. There these are, are so many, eh? Yeah, these are Dexter's and chairs being distributed by the government of late. So it's now going to be in use. So, and as you see, these are the chairs. And it's, um, it's written behind it, ES, yes, ES, yes. SLC. SLC. So our SLC managed to bring out these chairs, to donate these chairs to the school. So we have different dates here. We have... 2019-2020 year group okay. of SLC. And on this other chair, we have the 2020-2021 amazing. SLC. So that's what they contributed to this. God, this and they've done so much for It's me. so amazing. It's yes. a portable assembly hall. Yeah. And I have spotted this drum over here. Guys, so beautiful. Eh? 
This is the most beautiful drum set I have seen yeah. in all the schools. So our 2020, 2021 SLC group managed to buy this drum together with the chairs. It's so nice, eh? Yes, it's very nice. So it's we use it at chair surveys, in case of any Thailand shows, we use it. So that's what we have in the assembly hall. You also have a keyboard there. You have a keyboard, you have your conga. Yeah, uh, the congas, the double twin conga they have them over here. And you know, we don't we don't need any instrumentalists there because we the students are instrumentalists ourselves. So yes. some of you know how to play yeah, the instrument. And we also teach others. Yes. Eh. Yes, please. So we don't need any, someone to go and pay for someone to come and teach us and how to use the instruments. We can do that on our own. Amazing. This example for you. And they are so manageable. Yes, please. Awesome. So, this is our senior house master's office. Just it's right inside the assembly hall. Yeah. Inside the assembly inside hall. Inside the assembly hall. Guys, that's the senior, senior house master's office. Okay, so we also have the safety protocols here. The safety protocols. Yeah. We have a lot of um, how to and learning um, graphics over here that students can always take a look at it and learn a thing or two from. Yeah, very so cool. great. I encourage schools to have some of these. Like, it shouldn't necessarily be things pertaining to COVID and information, code and all that. Just have to get them on campus like that. You wouldn't know which one will trigger, will inspire somebody, a student, to just so you know. Pursue. So there's no, there's not only talk about points out to the COVID nineteen safety protocols, but also for candidates and officials at examination centers. You know, use our assembly hall for writing the YC. Mm. So whenever a student's about to write, we actually read out the rules to you. So take off um, prior to our um, coronavirus cases, you are told admonish on what to do and what not to do during the whilst examination is ongoing. So that's all you have here. You can see do not borrow items such as pain. Sure. So students should get their own. It should be independent during examination amazing yes i have also heard that you have something like a guy a certain garden uh how do you call it yeah yeah we call it the kumis botanical garden can you please let's take go me there. along and i'm going to take you there come and see something I'm going to get so much very interesting so this is our leisure base now like as to stay there for a while we take a break eh? yeah guys he just vacated the seat for us mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm so I'm so excited <laughs> So there's this kind of interpersonal relationship between the teachers and the students. I wish, I literally wish I'm not getting up again. <laughs> Guys, it's so nice though. Yeah, you know this tree is called a ficus tree. It's called what? A ficus tree. A ficus. Ficus. What, like, that's the name of this that's tree? That's the name of this tree. Does it bear fruit, edible fruit? No, not edible. But it's, it's so of, huge though. Very huge. You see the kind of warm air that embraces the atmosphere. See, with this kind of tree, you don't need any kind of air conditioning in this. Can room. we go and can we go and bring the garden here? Can we let some people go and bring the? So that we just we we'll just sit oh, here really? and just talk about. It. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> it's so nice, so guys. It's so you know, no, it's literally nice. It's everything about. Look at how its roots extend extends to the other side. You know, it's so about huge. 30 meters. The roots extends about 30 meters from the spot in which it was planted. Yeah, so you can see some lateral roots at the it other goes side. All the way down there. Yeah, all the way down there. It's very huge, and you no, know, we can see different some um, kinds of parrots, river birds on the street. Eh. Yeah. They they really build their nest. On and the street and the students they don't catapult them. They don't they don't kill them. Oh, no, we want to honor nature. We want to appreciate nature, so we don't do that. Eh. Yes. It's some it's, schools, so the students they have catapult too. Oh really? Oh, no, we don't do that here. There's nothing. There's not. We don't have a course like catapult in. So yours is to just stay. Eh. Yeah. At leisure times, you can come and sit there to rest or to have a chat or like read the story books. Yes. So that's why you call it a leisure bench. So. This is the this this shade. So I like the shade. Uh, it's so I think this is the best I have. Yeah, you could this see teachers. This is the teachers. best shade I have ever I have ever come across in the school. Yeah, you could see teachers around even hmm. though they have a staff coming. Around. There's uh, a like me, a guy that will lie down here. The way <laughs> I, the way <laughs> the warmth alone is where it's it's something they will like. It's so it's so nice. It seems you are in heaven now. <laughs> so so here's the garden. That's not a garden. This is a tree. I'll take it to the garden. I don't want to go. The, the garden is something else. 
<laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to. Can we, can we find some guys who go and put a garden and bring it here well, so that we just talk about it? Well, you hold ourselves, then you, can't, you, you just experience it's <laughs> you, you don't. You're not trying to get what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, I don't want to leave this spot because of the air. <laughs> oh, there's better air yeah, at that side. Air? Hey. Yes. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's use this road to the garden. You have an ICT lab? Yes. This is ICT lab. So, there's an ICT lab. Yeah, there's also an ICT lab here. Yes, please. Can we go inside? Yes, please, you can. <laughs> Wait, wait, I am inside the ICT lab of Asiama Secondary Technical School. Yes. So this is our ICT lab, but uh, it's in a poor condition now because all our monitors are not working at the, the right moment. And our chairs too are being condemned. See, when students come here, they actually like resting on the chairs, but they're supposed to be for computer work only. But after class, they try to stay in Yes, and like so, this has caused our chairs to be broken and all that. No, so. but I don't think that is even an issue. Definitely, once a computer room, a computer class studio, student would definitely get in here and then he, we love to play with the computer. That is yeah. tech. Yeah, yeah, so that one is normal. But here, I, I, the computers, there are literally no computers over here. And we have to get computers over here. So, I don't know if you are watching and you are an alumni of this school. If you are not and you are attached, I like this school a lot. It has great potential, great, great potential. But internet, like, no, computer, computing, learning, computing. Computing is very, very important. Technology is very important. We don't have some over here at all. Some of the computers are here. They, they are broken down. So I need you to come and donate computers to the school. Please, please, I beg, bring 10, 20. See, I like, I like how they've, they've, they've set this place up. You see, their socket is down here. It's on the floor, they have the socket on the floor. So much, it's so advanced. And the desk they have for the computers are also really cool. But the only downside is that we literally have no computer, almost no computer over here. And that is something that is a no, no, no for me. No, no, no for me. So um, just, if you're watching this, be touched. Show up here. I have put a number of the school in the description box. Call the head of the school and tell her that I see your video and I would like to bring you 100 computers, 50 computers, 200 computers, 1,000 computers. And then the school will be so much grateful to you for that so that these continuing students will enjoy and learning about technology and all that. It's so, so, so important. What do you think? Yeah, that, that's very good. Because now we are in the modern generation and also technology is improving as the day goes by. So we appeal to our alumni, other stakeholders to come and help. Sure. Yeah. Charlie, oh, it's a bad idea. <laughs> so basically that is it. It's a cool room, like it's a very moderate room. Just that we have to get the computers in here. Ha, you're here. I thought he's gone. I nearly asked I, I nearly asked that where is he? No. But I didn't just want to be like, oh, just want to betray or to expose I didn't want to expose him that this guy couldn't keep his post, he's gone. Not knowing he's here. Yeah, he wants to I, guide the game, so I was one for that. <laughs> it's not <Yeah. so> easy. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? So here comes our botanical garden. The botanical garden. Yeah. Guys, come and see the botanical garden. This is what I mean by botanical garden. <laughs> this is you the know? botanical garden. Yeah, and it's also a historic site because the trees were planted long ago, ages ago, during the British colonial era. Which Can you trees? imagine? Which trees? This trees you see around. This one? Yeah, so you know the scientific name for this tree. Are you serious? Yes. Are you sure these trees were planted years ago? Yes, ago. There is a lot of weed over there. We can't go there. Yeah. Maybe uh, there are snakes or something down there. I don't know. Oh, well, we, we, um... Hey! But this thing, this thing it could be like just three years old though. No, nah, you, can, you can take a look at it. it. It stretches out to the other side. Just take a look at the trees here and everything. So this one could be about 100 years old? Yes, I tell you. <laughs> Very well. You know, the scientific name for this tree is Politia longifolia. 
and it's not just here for education purpose. It has a main reason why it's planted here. You know, we have a story building here. That's one of our classroom blocks. So this tree absorbs le um, electric charges from the atmosphere and buries it under the ground in case when there is lightning and thunder. So that's the purpose for the trees. This here. one? Yes, this, 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 this. As you see around this. Are you sure? Yes, that is the purpose for the trees. It's not just here for beautification purpose, no. No, but I've seen some in people's houses around the, like on the street and all yeah, that. I so didn't that, know that's what it does. Yeah, it's only exam one. Tell, it, tell the truth, to, oh. are you sure? Tell the <laughs> yes, th this is the purpose for the trees. This is the purpose of the This tree. particular tree? This particular tree. And the other trees you see around also serves as windbreak. In case the wind is coming in this direction. Because there's a story building here, we want to um, protect our infrastructures, the little we have. So this, they serve as a wind break here. So in case the storm is coming to direction, this direction, they can at least save the Absorb them. it. Yeah, absorb the wind. So this, right. So this one, store electric charges, charges and then the bury it down the ground. the ground. Yeah. And then what? It buries it under the ground. So it protects the building, so as I say. Tender strike and all that. Yes, please. You wouldn't know until you come to Iziamwa. Iziamwa, you come. <laughs> you see, know I'm so lot. confused. I don't know whether I should believe it or not, but I don't know. This is well, very true. Do you do very you very do you have the same information about this tree? I don't know if you if it is true. Please put it in the comment box. Let's discuss it. <laughs> For real. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazing. <Yay. laughs> so, you know, I like, it. I like I like the story of that tree you showed me. Yeah. But I was also thinking that you get a lot of leisure benches over there. But we didn't get. Yeah. So let's get back here yeah. and never move again. <laughs> <laughs> God, the wind over here is so amazing. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. So here awesome. you come. <laughs> so you can actually use this place for a resort, <laughs> think time, everything. <laughs> Guys, if you leave me, I'll sit here to, to live in here. You don't know what is happening. It's so nice over here. <laughs> and like, so what, what, what is it again? So here I would like to point out our academic achievements. In this so important. Yes, yeah, very important. Despite the fact that we have inadequate infrastructures, the so, the so, um, so self-acclaimed schools can boast of their infrastructure, but we admit we do not have much. But when it comes to academics, academics. Allah. That, that's the <laughs> that's the ulterior motive of every student coming to school. When it comes to academics, see, there is no one to buy with us. The whole Western region, in fact, the whole Western region, when it comes to academics, you know, we were graded A in our WASI from 2019 up to date. It's, 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 yeah, we use that pattern, just A, you're rated 100% throughout. You see, the mistakes you do, you people do is that when you get these successes, this achievement, you don't publish it. See, it's not good though. You don't publish your success stories. We, we, hate, we hate documentation and publicity. We hate publicity so much that, you see, if you had not spoken about it, I wouldn't have known that what you're saying is, is like, I wouldn't have known. Yeah, but now you're telling me. So that should tell you that anytime there is a little success in your school, let us talk about it. Don't keep it. See, don't keep it. It's not good because you wouldn't know what that publication will do for the school. You don't know. Little success. Somebody is good in the school, you keep it. Somebody does this in the school, you keep it. This student is this, you keep it. This person is this, you keep it. Oh, da -da 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 -da. everything, everything is buried. Hey! Yo. Hey, Ghana for Africans. Why are we like? Ask yourself, why am I like this? Just ask yourself, why am I like this? Please, let's repent. Sis, let's talk. So that is when the adage comes in, all that glitters is not gold. Because with the self-acclaimed school, they have their infrastructures, everything. But when it comes to the, the academic, book. they are very poor. Very, very poor. <laughs> but when you come to examine, there's nothing like abysmal or bad. We use the word good when we are not much intrigued into what we do. But it's nothing like bad. Everything is good about Izianwa. Better than best. I like, I like, see, I like this girl and I agree with her 100%. You see, she's so honest. And I don't think what she's saying is a lie because she's, she has admitted that she has little infrastructure. That's correct, of course. Even though what they have over here, some schools can boast of that. But she admits that she spells it out correctly that this is, this is what we are lacking. Okay, 
but when it comes to book, book is boot for boot over here. It's boot for boot. They've been champions in 2019 to date. Yes. To date, in WSSE, WASI. You, your own. Because your school, you have this huge this and huge that and huge that and we, people pass there and they look like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, to as a nation, nothing is happening for you. <laughs> nothing is happening for you. You get the apps, you keep it quiet like that. <laughs> all your glory is coming from the infrastructure you have over here. Over here, it's all like that. <laughs> you don't like this girl. You, no, t you like it. Say, say the truth. You like it, Ziyama. You like it. Say they, they like you. Well, oh, okay. well, they like you. Forget. <laughs> this here, here is where we spoke about your core values and all that. And you, I brought it here earlier. Ab assembly hall. Yes. And you brought me to this spot again. Yes. What is happening here? So we've talked about other extracurricular activity. You can't just forget about sports. You do sports over here. It's raining in Ziyama. You do sports. Sports. Anything you can think of relating to sports. Sports. You do, like anything, any kind of sports. I want to talk to the sport prefect. Yes. Yeah, so Where is he? I, I wouldn't delve much into sport. I have with me the gentleman of the school. I address him as the gentleman because he is the boy's prefect. So I would present to you the gentleman, then he would delve much deeper. So the, the head boy is going to talk to me about sport. sport. Where is he? Bro, good to see you again. Oh, good to see you too. Huh. Remember this guy? He's the one who came to pop champagne right at the gate. Ah, he was so amazing. He, I didn't know you were the head boy. Ha. Where is this place? Okay, this is uh, our sports room. Uh, sports master's room. Amazing. Yeah. That's why you have your your this uh, school cardigan. Sometimes you know you wear this one. Most most of the times you wear it during sports when yeah. you're having inter-house competitions and all that. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, so you won all these trophies? Yes, we won all these trophies. See, volleyball. Or you bought it for Deco? No. Tell no. the truth, please. No, please, no, please. You can even see. So this one is the first one is what? This is soccer. Girls. Yes. So you have girls here who yes. play football. Very, very well. Our girls play soccer very, very well. They are good <laughs> So is it true? Honestly. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to talk to you, sir, but let me finish over here. You play soccer girls over here, handball. Yes. Handball. What is handball? Handball, like it's uh, is it like b-ball? No, it's not b-ball. It's like... I don't know what handball is. I have to go and Google it and look at what it is. I'm pre he knows what it is, but he's finding it hard describing it. I don't think it's something that is common. I don't really know, but I don't know. Handball. And soccer. Yes, soccer. This yes. is the biggest trophy over here. Very, very big. And there's a handball for girls over here too. So for this time, ball. at this time, it was what? Boys. Boys. At this time it was what? The girls. girls. Just imagine. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. If I come to my school and I don't see any calf there, <laughs> you people. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of students come into the school with academic consciousness and um, some too are sport oriented. I like to find out how sport is treated in this school. Yes. This particular school has been a sports school since the very inception of this school. Amazing. And one thing that we all must uh, be aware of is this. All work and no play makes the academic boy. And here, apart from the academic work that we do here, of which we excel most of the time, or most in the years gone by, Sports too has been our major uh, interest in the school. Now we do soccer here, volleyball, handball, uh, and athletics. And with all these, one of the most one of the disciplines in which or which this school can boost off is soccer. Now, date back in 2014, we claimed our very first zonal championship in the boys' division at Bunzukaku Senior High. 
That's where the, the game was held. Or yes. the final the, game. The, that was where the zonal competition was oh, held. Oh, okay. Then when I talk of zonal competition, it comprises of all the Zima, Zima. schools. Wow. So, so Insan they, Secondary School was there? Yeah, Insan was there. And you beat them? We beat them. <laughs> I'm so sad. And eventually, we were the champions in 2014. Are you people? You <laughs> and we continued. We continued search venture or search uh, uh, Loris in 2017. Of course, that was the year I came here. In 2017, we also claimed another victory. We were champions in boys' division soccer at Anuiji. Then we qualified for the Milo Games in 2018 at the same place at Bukas in wow. 2018. And that very, in that very uh, competition, too, we were first, we were champions. Sir, can you please tell us your name? My name is Kensley Bensego, but people normally call me Coach Agaza. Coach Agaza. Yeah, because I'm one of the uh, coaches in Karela, one of the head. Uh, uh, Head of the youth team in Karela, so they, Karela is a football club. Oh yes, like so, it is out there that plays like a major football club. In yeah, the it's a professional club in the country. So they are just near around uh, near uh, our. It's around the uh, uh, Inasi. It's in wow. Inasi. So it's just wow. a stone throw. So I'm like commuting camp. Wow. I don't. I don't actually let that uh, uh, venture or enterprise eat into my my professional work as far as the team is concerned wow yes so so guys now you you have you have a glimpse of what happens here when it comes to sports he is he he, he has given you all his credentials and such an individual is here also making sure that things happen over here to res respect to sport so when you show up over here you know the kind of institution you are getting yourself into in order to be trained in whatever you want to do that is in relation um, to sport. So this is a set. Thank you for talking to me. You are most welcome. Thank you, sir. Now I can see this block over here. Yes. What, which one is this? So there is the girls dormitory. So this is the facility that houses all your yeah. girls over here. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's actually annoying now because this has deprived the administration of admitting the average number of students. So yeah, we are limited here. Oh, okay. Yes. So what it means is that you need more facilities. More facilities. Please, we need a lot of dormitory blocks over here. So alumni, put yourself together and come in. Wherever your checkbook is, please bring it out. Thousand Ghana, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Sign the check and let's let's put. You have a lot of land over here. You have huge land over here. You clear this part and put a major building over here, like ten story. No, not ten is too much. Let's say four story. And they are all dormitory. You can even give it a lift, fully air conditioned. Yes. No, so <laughs> I would like to tell you the name of a flower. Like, I have to come to Izama, you have to learn something. The flower over there? Yeah. You see, it's kind of yellow, greenish. I've seen a lot of them around, but yeah. I don't know the names. It's a head because we use it for fence and because we don't have the fans to raise up a wall. And that's creative. Yes. So, that the name of the flower is yellow duranta. Yes. That's the actual name. That's it. Yellow Duranta. Yellow yeah, Duranta. What does it do? So it's it's kind of a head of like a fence and we don't have the fan to put up a, a wall. So mostly the guys use this link to their boys dormitory. So the boys dormitory too is also down there? At the other end. You can see a wide building. Ah, uh, oh, yes. okay. So they use this link to their, their oh, okay. plate. So we kind of use this flower as, as a head. Okay, fences. okay. I understand. Yes. Maybe you have to plant more of it so that it can just grow all the way up and then. Yeah. yeah. But don't worry, you get help any, anyway. And also GMPC Foundation, come and build house over here. You're building a lot of um, facilities for schools. Show up over here and come and put up a structure over here for Asian Master Community. I like the school a lot. Come and put a structure over there for them. Awesome. You can see we have lots of vegetation around the coconut tree. So mostly after... Do you plug them? Yes, after I take the... No, the guys do it. <laughs> see, you have a board man like yeah, my escorts here. Yeah, the guys do it. So after I had take days, most we do our um, ground sweat on Wednesdays and Fridays. So after these head take works, yeah, we are permitted by the um, teachers to go up there, plug 
the coconuts for refreshment. Amazing. Yes. You are chilling, no? <laughs> you know, we've spoken a lot. You've not told me where you do your class. Yes. So, this, this one, this is part. Yeah, I told you that we have trees to absorb electric charges from the atmosphere and bury the anagram. So that's one of our classroom blocks. This one? Is yes. it a science lab or arts lab? Or? It's, we, we call it the Form 4 block. Because form 4? Form 4. Oh, it okay. was built at a time where the SHS was covering from SHS 1 to Form 4. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we call it the Form 4 block. And we have it in terms of the technical classes and the science classes. And also, at the upper part, we have the science laboratories. Up there? Up there. You have biology lab? Yes, chemistry, chemistry and physics. Chemistry and physics? Yes. I would have loved to go inside, but they are locked. And which, yeah. which block is this one? This is the this computer. This is the ICT lab. ICT. I told you what about that. this one? This is the infirmary we went This is the infirmary. Yes. And how about that one? This is our library. And, uh, the place where we found the talent is what? Yeah, that's the U blog. I told you initially that the form ones are the ones supposed to be there. Oh, okay. But because they're not yet admitted, the form twos are using the temporary. So this one is your library? Yes. You would like to go and see the right? I'd like to see what is there. Oh, if okay. the books there are not enough, then we can get people to bring you yes, sure. more books. Guys, come and see the Ooh. library. Guys, I am here inside the library. It's not a huge library though, but they have a lot of books in here. Yeah. All uh, packed up over here. So here is where they have everything. Yeah. I think they also keep a lot of their visual arts, uh, practical work over here. I found this building over here, like a cottage. Could be could be a prototype of a certain um, um, how designs for a beach resort or something. Maybe a cabin in the wood or something. They have this over here. So like I'm saying, here is not really a huge space, but you are watching the video. So um, what is it that you can contribute to this library? Um, I have put a number in the description box to this school. Just get in touch with the school and say, oh, I want to bring you ultra modern seat or um, shelves or anything over here. You know of a carpenter out there, let them get, get in touch with the carpenter. Let them come and donate stuff to the school. I have so many people to work with. I have to work with carpenters, I have to work with engineers, I have to work with so many different people. Just so when I come across things like this, I'll just get in touch with them and they can donate things over here. What do you think? Yeah, very well. Yeah. So, so but for now, if you can see any need here and you want to meet it, that won't be bad. That will not be bad. Just be philanthropical, like me. You know, this is something that I don't joke with. Anywhere I go, I like to find out what it means, the details in the crest. Okay. What is the motto? So, courage, perseverance, perseverance, victory. Yes. You get the courage to persevere, yeah. and then come what you here. get is victory. Yes. So all that matters is courage. Whatever you are up to, all your life endeavors, if you don't have a courage to begin, you are, you are as death. Lack of courage is death. So over here, they teach courage. Courage comes first. And then when you have it, you must persevere. If you do that, it says one thing is certain. Victory. Right? Yes. What is, yeah. what is inside this? So on the left hand side, we have a book with a star on top. That is shining. Mm -hmm. So now, in, when it comes to, in every institution, educational institution, the book is something important because every each of the programs or department deals with academics. That is the story aspect sure. of the school. So this book with a star on top is telling us that it's telling the students that as we take our book seriously, we can glow, we can shine, shine like a star, shine like a star. Amazing. In the future, so that is what the book and the star. So it's invoking some memories in us as the day goes by that we should take our book seriously, seriously. and shine one day. Amazing. Yes. So on the other side is the bed, Sankofa. I hope you've seen this kind of bed several so actually, times. Actually, that's what I'm waiting for. I just want to know how you're going to talk about this. Okay, so in Ezeva, this Sankofa reminds the old students, the stakeholders, where they came from. So as the school, mm. yes. 
So the school has been of help to them once they were here, has educated them in both their um, educational, in the educational aspect and their attitude. So as they go out in life, as they serve throughout the world, they should remember where they came from and give their support to the school. And it's part of the school crest. Yes. Charlie, this is serious. Yes. See, all other schools I have visited, they can ignore their schools. You alumni, you can ignore, you can ignore your school. But over here, you cannot ignore your school because the crest of the school, they have you in mind. It is actually spelled out over here that you are a part of the school till, till death, till you die. So you cannot leave the school behind. Wherever you are, you have to always come back, look back and come and support it. Still, they've included that in the, in the school crest over here. San Wichu Kofa. San Nat Kofa. So, this is so great. Yes, yeah, so great of a So at the bottom side, you can see a coal pot with a saw cross at the other end and also a whole cross at the other end. This represents the technical aspect of the school. We have so, we know we have so many secondary schools and also have so many technical schools. But Izama has been able to conjoin both secondary and technical school. This talks about, this, tell, this tells you about how... Is this the only secondary technical school in the country? No, not in the country, but in, in our zone, there's the only secondary technical school here. So this talks about how managerial, our administration is how responsible they are even though we don't have the adequate facilities they are able to improvise with what they have and break the best out of it all so this hope talks about the practical aspects of the home economy so we do textile the home economic departments are in two folds the clothing and textiles and also the food and nutrition then the whole represents the agriculture the agriculture yeah agriculture doing agriculture science students course they are much, they much, they delve into the weeding or planting of trees. Yeah. And so the, the saw. saw talks about the carpentry, the technical, the whole technical department. Yes. But they come, the carpentry, um, the, the carpentry um, part of the technical use it in their various activities. Yes. This is so amazing. This is, this is amazing, eh? I yeah, think this, okay. is, this is perfect. Yeah, this, it's so this perfect. Is all about the crazy museum. Such a wonderful one. Did you know the meaning of these signs over here? Yeah, I know. Of course you I don't. I really know. You no. don't, my no. brother. I really know. <laughs> when we students come uh, for the first year, tell you everything about the school, about the story part, yeah. everything. So, so you know? Yeah, I know. Hey! Are you sure? Really? <laughs> I don't want to argue. So I don't want to argue. It's okay. He said he knows. He knows. <laughs> hey, so you know? I know. <laughs> you too, you know. <laughs> lie to me. <laughs> oh, lie. Oh, lie to me. <laughs> what can I say? Lie to me. <laughs> so now, <laughs> if you don't know what this thing is, now you know. Now you know. Kind courtesy of this amazing, beautiful lady over here. She's so awesome. Wow. Wow. Now, you see, in every school, yeah. every school must have an alumni. People that have gone through the school system and are out there doing awesome things that we have no idea about. I want to know some of your alumni. Yeah, so. Well, this part of that, we have so many great people, products, as we have many great people as products of this noble institution. From the time when it was um, a government boys' school, so an um, experimental junior high school, so as, as now as a, as a secondary school, we have so many um, old students in these various divisions of the school. So I would do that by myself. I have um, Lady Madeline. She's there is a lady called Lady Madeline. Yes. She's my deputy. She's the deputy priori. So she's going to take you through our noble. She's going to tell me about your pe the people that, that have gone through the system. Yes. I can't see. I want to talk to this. Lady, lady Madeline. Uh, let me go. Let, I'm going to. Okay, come. So I'm waiting for Lady Madeline over here. This people, she starts to wait over here. Hmm. They have posts. Oh. Amazing. Ah. Says.
You are the champagne popper. Yeah. You have you have really made me enjoy today. You made me enjoy your school. <laughs> Lady Madeline, I want to talk to your alumni, but I just don't want to speak vaguely. I want to know some of the notable alumni your school has produced. Okay. They want to see your face too. <laughs> Amazing. You are so fair. <laughs> um, when you come to ACM Senior High Technical School, we have notable old students. And I want to ask, have you ever been in Ukraine before? Ukraine? Yes. Oh, Ukraine? De, 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 de. What am I going to do in Ukraine? In that you country? Know, <laughs> ACM Senior High Technical School, we are having a product over there. And he was once a cadet to and he's a medical doctor. And he's no other person than Dr. Seth of Orinians. He is, he is in Ukraine. Yeah. He's a doctor in Ukraine. Yeah. Mr. Seth, Dr. Seth Ofori Yanzu, your name has come up over here that you are an alumnus of Eziama Secondary Technical School. Of course, you've seen everything that the school has now. What is your contribution, sir? Mention another one. Okay, and we have Professor David Nya. Professor? Yeah. Your school has produced a professor? <laughs> yes. Sit down, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk. I'm now interested. <laughs> Tell yeah. me. We have Professor David Aka. Yeah, he's a programs director in the Setra Company Limited. Yeah, he's, he's also coming from Ezema Senior High Technical School. Nowadays, you know, it is very, very important to become a professor. But Ezema Senior High Technical School, we've been able to bring one up. So we are the special school. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So these are the two notable alumni that we know of right now. I know there are a lot of you there, yeah. but we cannot mention your name. We are, not that we cannot. We don't know. We don't know you because you are no longer in touch with your alma mater, and that is not okay. So right now you have seen the school, you've seen the potential, you've seen what what the school is up to like. You, you, get, you, you now know what is happening over here. All I'm asking of you is to get in touch with the school. The, the number of administration is in the description box. Open it and call the school and say, oh, this is me and then this is it, this is it. I want to get in touch and then, yeah. Get in touch with the school and see how best you can work with administration to make this place even more awesome. And if you do that, this continuing student will also benefit from the work of your hand and they will really appreciate you really well so um gather yourself your year group and let the year group also gather their year group and also like that and form become a force field and show up here and grab the school and just do something awesome over here and that will be so amazing can i talk to the headmistress yeah you can Madam, I'm so pleased to meet you. The same to you, my dear brother. <laughs> yes. Um, Madam, I have gone through your school. Uh -huh. This is, this is it's so amazing. And I'm particularly, um, I was overwhelmed yeah. about how I was welcomed into the school for the first time, yes. getting into a senior high school. Uh -huh. It was so amazing. You know, when I was driving in there, and then I heard, I, I saw two, a boy and a girl, on the street like on the road and i was yes. like okay ah they were approaching me and they had champagne in their hand and they were uh -huh. going like i still don't recall say ah like yes. that yes <laughs> yes i have never experienced anything like yes. that before uh. i was so amazed and they've taken me through the school i have seen the length and breadth of this school and this is a school that has come a very long way and like um it, respectable most respectable lady she is respectable lady that the respectable the head girl. lady the head and girl. i am a highly respectable Hi lady highly respectable lady yes so the head girl is respectable lady, lady. and the headmistress is highly, highly respectable, respectable lady. lady amazing <laughs> Wow, yes. Madame is sharing her glory with the student. Also. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Though one day grow up and also become highly respectable lady. Amazing. Yes. She's taking me through the length and breadth of the school, and mm. like she was saying that um, it is male 
persons who have headed the school to now yes. and you are the first lady to head the school. to head the school it's so amazing madam now i want to find out your personal vision for the school because it has been on the shoulders of others to where it is right now mm -hmm. and i'd like to find out your vision of the school and how the old student can be a part of that vision can help you realize that yes i'm sure you've enjoyed a lot madam a lot yes i'm very grateful to high schools africa Thank you, madam. for being with us and even selecting the school to shoot a video outside for everybody to see what we sell here sure yes i am so grateful to to all headmasters that is from mr gabriel k nyami to reverend dr ken obin who have Amazing. been the previous headmasters for the school they really worked harder and i'm just going to continue with what they have done i will say i'll be very unique because i am the first lady the first lady yes highly respectable. highly respectable lady amazing yes <laughs> and most of the schools that i worked I from a handsome man as a out segment that is one that oh, where you've been at a handsome man before yes i did my out segment oh, okay. uh, from the university then i start working at matadi senior high school that place i was called auntie franca, franca. or madam franca then I went to her first name, Madame Franca. Then I became a headmistress at Queen's Girls Senior High School. Queen's, it looks like I've heard of the name yeah, before. Yes, as I'm here to be being. The school wow. was founded by Oji Ahokon and Ayah Ojebi, and later it was given to the government. Wow. Yeah, that place I was called Lady Franca. Lady you Franca. You see, I am very unique whenever I'm dealing with my student because I mostly blend parenting and parenthood. So I made the kids to feel that they are my own biological children. So at least, if you wouldn't be excel academically, in terms of grooming for you to become a better person in the society, a good mother, a good father, a good wife, whatever you just get it from me. Amazing. Because I do a lot of counseling myself. Yes. And uh, for my vision for the school, personal vision, I would like to improve the academic work in the school, bring more discipline. You can see from our vision for the school that we said we'll let students grow in spiritual aspects in their life too. So we just have to make sure I still God's word in them. That is, those students, after they have gained or completed school with numerous certificates, if they happen to lose their soul, what have they gained in this world? True. So with that one too, I will do it. Then I also make sure Every soul in the school becomes successful, in which we, as I said earlier on, I will put more effort in the parenting and the parenthood aspect of me. If you could even see here, in 2007, I won the Sky Mother of the Year. The Sky Mother of the yeah, Year for Central yeah. and Western Region. Amazing. Yes. But I'm even in our conversation um, yeah. with some of the with a uh, girl. Um, what's her name? Vicky, Lady Vicky, off camera. She yeah. was telling us how. You are like a mother to them. Yes. Like they love you from the bottom of their heart because you treat them like, 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 like a mother. Yes. Even though they have a mother in the house, like they have two parents, two mothers. Mm. You see. So, and this one, you having this one over here testifies yes. to what I thought she was exaggerating, no, even though no, we didn't no. get that on camera. But this mm. one really proves that you really have that kind of mm. affection for the girls, yes. the you student. Know, you know, with adolescents, when they get to this age, they need somebody to comfort, pamper, advise them, let them feel that they are also part of the society. So what I do is that wherever I find myself, I make sure I treat my adolescents in a different manner. So here, why they are saying I pamper them, I make sure they eat well. When even you have yeah. uh, an issue with a tutor or something, I know how I handle them. I don't uh, disgrace them in public. I bring it to my office. I talk to you as my biological daughter or son. Amazing. And the way I call them to, I'm not able to learn their names. So I call them my dear son, <laughs> my dear daughter. <laughs> you see, so when I call them that way, they feel so happy. Awesome. Yes. And I also want to make sure that um, after they have completed, they're able to do something in the society to help Mother Ghana. 
So those who are doing practical subjects, we have more practicals they go through. And when we are going on vacation, I also make sure I give them letters for them to go and do um, attachments. Attachment. Yes. And even in school, weekends, they go to learn the other things that will help their practical way. And I also make sure that the core books and the elective books, they always learn them. You see? Amazing. Yes. And uh, we check the role very well every time to make sure they attend school, they are punctual at school. So I do a lot just to make them be good citizens. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So madam, how can the alumni be a part of this vision? Because now they are watching and some of them have not gotten in touch. You see, the school is very old, even though it, and it has produced a lot of people. I'm surprised they have not um, really come all out in their number to come and contribute a lot to the school but right now they are watching the video and they've seen it and now they are inspired they want to come back what exactly can they come and contribute do you know something in 2020 2020 2020 yes those who completed i was here last year and they brought a fridge to the staff room Amazing. they bought a fridge to present to the school so you see even the infants ones are doing well here yeah. so i would like to talk to the old students or appeal to them that the first lady is calling you come back home come back home come back home come and help us to solve all the challenges that we have and whoever is outside whether an old student or anybody you've seen the video wherever you see that there are challenges call my personal number sure. or come and we'll talk about it sure. for you to help us to put the school and other things that we want to do in a better shape amazing amazing now madam some of some of these um um my my battalions watching this video now some of them are also bec candidates and they they're thinking to themselves whether they're going to be here like some actually now have interest in coming to your school and if we can get to know the subjects that are taught over here, like the programs that are done over here yes the bec candidates I know this time a lot will be coming here, hearing that there's a first lady, a mother for this <laughs> community. Which is very important. I'm so. telling you, they'll be yes. coming. We do general arts, visual arts. We do home economics. We do science, general science. We do t all the technical sub uh, programs. So this is my time here at Eziama Secondary Technical School. You've seen, it's a school that has great ambition, great future. But you, the alumni, you are the major stakeholders of the school. So get in touch with the school. I'll put a number in the description box and see what she can also contribute to the school. And of course, if you're a BEC student and you are looking at um, which school to just get yourself involved with to pursue your education, I mean, you have seen what Iziama Secondary Technical School is capable of and you're going to find yourself here. I'm going to see you again very soon and bye.